Hello, guys and girls. I know I've been gone for a whole month, uh, but I have a pretty good reason why. Uh, not gonna lie, it's like something stupid happened, but I think you can tell from the title of the video. Yeah, a ninth grader stole my cat. Well, a ninth grader's mom stole my cat. So, let me go ahead and start off with this video, and yeah, go ahead and enjoy the video. Alright, so things you need to know first about, uh, the whole thing is that our cat hasn't gotten all of her shots and our cat lives outdoors she's been living out there for four years you know and she's been doing just fine all right so i'll go ahead and start off the story so the story started with my brother hanging out with his friend i'm not gonna use his real name so i'm just gonna call him joey you know like from the walking dead uh i guess they were at some type of game store or you know just some type of like GameStop or something. Uh, I actually think it was Dave and Buster's they were at, you know? Uh, I don't really know what my brother was talking about, but I guess he was talking about mostly about our cat and how she lives outdoors. And for some reason, Joey was starting to get angry about this. And he was like, cats aren't supposed to live outdoors. Now look, I don't know much about cats, but I'm pretty sure that some can live outdoors and some can live indoors. Our cat has been out there for about four years, and, you know, she's been doing fine so far. Yeah, like, nothing really bad has happened, but I guess Joey really didn't, like, care about the reasoning behind that. So, uh, he just keeps pressing my brother about how cats aren't supposed to be outdoors. So, uh, my brother continues talking about the cat and tells him that our cat hasn't gotten, uh, one of their shots that she needs and i guess joey i don't know what i don't know how my brother believed this but uh joey said that he could get the shots for her uh his mom was a veterinarian or something even though uh, i don't know but i guess he believed it and my brother said he was fine with that and uh everything sounded good to him but he needed to run over it with uh with you know me and his sister uh and his mom and dad you know just run over it with the family right so what he does is he goes ahead and comes home and tells us about this but really he only told me about this and i'm just like no he can't take the cat uh we'll just get the shots ourselves you know because that's what makes sense but uh my brother told me that he was offering for free i don't really care if it's free or not i don't really trust giving my cat to somebody so you know that's, that's just how it was i just said no but my brother said okay and just you know walked off the next day you know it was school time we all were going to school uh it was monday because i guess they were playing on a sunday and uh my brother confronts him about this about how i said that i don't want our cat to just get shots from some shitty person that i don't know when we have our own veterinarian that takes care of our cat you know I really just don't see the point. I don't even care if it was for free. And I guess this ticked Joey off because it's like, bro, it's for free, you know, things are good. If it's free, you know, that's the best price. And he just got mad about it. And you see, the thing is, Joey picked up my brother from our house. So Joey knew exactly where we lived. And I guess Joey told his mom about where we lived, where our cat was. And he knew that we keep our cat outdoors because she's an outdoors cat. So what he did was he called his mom. I'm not even kidding. He called his mom to come take our cat. So his mom comes over to our neighborhood, finds our cat, and steals it. Just completely 100% stole our cat. So I didn't know about this at the time. Uh, my brother didn't even really know about this at the time. So the next day he comes and I'm trying to like feed the cat, but she's nowhere to be seen. And I'm just like, okay, that's kind of weird, but you know, sometimes things happen, you know? The cat probably not hungry, found something to eat outdoors. And so I just go back inside, you know, leave her bowl out there. Hopefully she eats it, you know? It's just normal. And as soon as I go back inside, you know, I'm just trying to play the game and stuff like that. And we're just about to get ready for school. And we go ahead and walk off to school. And I guess uh, Joey told my brother as soon as they got to school that his mom took our cat. No permission needed, just went up and took her cat. And my brother, for some reason, has no, like, he just doesn't know how to, like, defend himself or, like, speak up for himself. So he's just okay with this. And as soon as we get to the bus to go home for us from school, you know, 
I'm just like, okay, I gotta upload a video, but my brother's talking to me right now about something stupid. And then he just brings up the fact that, uh, our cat, it was stolen by, uh, some woman. He didn't use the word stolen, but still. Uh, he just said that his friend's mom took our cat to a veterinarian, and I'm just like, what? Just, I'm just stunned that this, this idiot, like, actually let, let his friend take our cat. So the first thing I do is... As soon as I get home, I tell my sister about it, because me and my sister, of course, we, we like to talk about things. And, boom, she's super angry, and she's, she's just running out of me. I'm just like, oh, yep, I know exactly how this is going to be. And, uh, boom, she's just yelling at him how about he has to get the cat back, he needs to get the cat back now. And I'm agreeing with all of this, because, bro, no, no woman can just, like, come up and steal your cat. That's not right. Like, let's be honest. If someone came up and stole your cat, you'd be ticked off too. Like, come on. Because his mom and her son believe that cats are supposed to live indoors? I don't know. Uh, that's just weird in my opinion. But, uh, so basically, you know, after all of that, my little brother's saying, Alright, alright, I'll get the cat back. I'll get the cat back. And it's the next day. We're at school. It's Wednesday, you know. Everything's fine. It's not fine. I don't know why I'm lying. But, uh... Basically, he tells his friend Joey, hey, uh, we need our cat back, you know, there was nothing wrong with her, she's fine, and, uh, we just need the cat back right now. Uh, so the first thing Joey says to my little brother is, yeah, your cat had a stroke. And I'm like, when my brother was telling me this, I'm just like, what? What? They're saying it's because she's disease-written for being outside so much. Like, cats are actually not supposed to be outside. And the way it was described to me how she had the stroke was as soon as his mom came to pick her up, she started having the stroke. And I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, normally when some random person that you have no idea, has, you don't know their intentions, you don't know them, they're not your keeper, and they just start, like, coming to pick you up and you're trying to run away, you're, you're gonna have a stroke because of how scared you are. As she's been out there for, like, four years like actually four years and never had a stroke from anything but, and we clean her up pretty nicely so i don't know like how she would just have a stroke out of nowhere unless you know some random person came and stole her that's the only way i could see it because i'd be scared out of my mind too so no uh joe is trying to blame it on me you know just blame the fact that uh my cat had a stroke on me they said that they're gonna be keeping our cat and they're not giving it back because we don't treat her right we, we treat her poorly if anything and now me and my sister are like super angry after hearing this movie. we're just like oh heck no bro uh, no, we're getting that cat back. We're getting that cat back. And we're not telling our parents. We're not telling our grandma. We're not telling our family. We're, we're just trying to do this on our own. Which, in my perspective, was pretty stupid of us. We probably should have just went to the adults for, for uh, the answers. But, you know, uh, kids are stupid. Let's go. Uh, okay, maybe kids aren't stupid. I I'm just stupid, okay? Uh, so, yeah. The next day, I I'm just telling my friends about how stupid this is. How they're not giving my cat back. And I just want to punch Joey in the face at this point in time, bro, because they, they basically stole our cat and is not going to give it back ever because freaking kid's mom went and stole our cat. And look, I, I, I don't care what you do with other people's stuff, but you know, you, you don't take, you know, you don't take a man's cat. That's, that's just weird. That's just wrong. Like, stealing a man's cat? No. And, and like, I don't even know what to say to this. It's just stupid. But yeah. The guy just, like, stole our cat and moved on with his life. Uh, right now, she's been sold to a whole different home, so we're, we're never gonna get her back. We can't even call the police and tell them about any of this. Uh, sooner or later, our parents did find out about this. And, yeah, it was a very poor decision not to go to the adults. Uh, but, yeah, our cat's gone for good, and that is exactly why I haven't been making videos. It's just been weird knowing that my cat's gone. And I'm never gonna get her back. And I thought I should make a story time about this. If you guys did like this video, uh, I can make more videos like these because stupid things happen every day, right? Uh, so if you guys want to hear more about cat updates, uh, honestly, I don't think there's ever gonna be another story time about my cat. But we'll try and make other story times if you guys enjoy this one. Let's try and hit about, I'd say, 15 likes. Yeah, let's go for 15 likes. If we can hit 15 likes on this video, I'll start putting story times on the channel. 
which will be nice. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to try and get back to YouTubing. Uh, thanks, guys and girls, for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Just bye.